just like a little boy, I was scolded by Joseph. A part of me wanted to yell at him, show him that he is talking to his leader. And another part of me knew that he was right. I made a colossal mistake. We should be happy that no one died. Yet, it still makes me angry that it was my fault. When we were done talking, Joseph packed his things and took Mutie with him on his way to the great library. Before they left, Mutie came running to me and said a few last words. Please, Master Sin, do not be mad at Joseph. He only cares for your and our well-being. I nodded in Mutie's direction and I sent him off. I know he is right. Joseph has always been caring for me. The war against the Holy Nation and the influence of Narcos' disciples seemingly disrupts my train of thought. But I'm not staying down. I'm going to make sure we are better prepared next time. Since our victory over the splinter group from the Holy Nation, the Stone Golem has sent her daughter Seto with us. She shall learn from the rebellion and hone her skills. Furthermore, the Shek are now going to help us against the Holy Nation, which is going to be important for the next battle that I have planned. While we were discussing how to ally the Shek Kingdom, Abrarius constantly pressured me into going to the Bugmaster. It seems like there is something about him that connects Abrarius to the Buckmaster. When I tried to play it off, he was still going on about it. I assured Abrarius that we would go to the Buckmaster one day, but right now it is too dangerous. While raiding the Splinter Group, we also freed one prisoner that now wants to join us. His name is Yassi Khan. A mercenary that already had quite a few chops under his belt. One day, a man hired him to raid a slave camp of the Holy Nation. Even though they fought valiantly, most of the mercenaries died. Yasikan survived, but he was forced into slavery, working away in the holy mines, until he got relocated. Since he was a Shek, the Holy Nation thought they can get some information from him, but it did not take long until we broke him out of his cage. I sent Yasikan to our armory to get himself some gear. Meanwhile, Mirosaki and I have been planning our next assault on the Holy Nation. He also suggested that we should build a small outpost to strengthen our cause. But before we do that, Okren's fist must fall, and this time we will be successful. Hello my fellow Kenji players and welcome back to Sands of Hate, a Slave Rebellion, episode number 20. In today's episode of the Slave Rebellion, we are going back to Okren's Fist, because Sin cannot let it stay that he is lost against the Holy Nation there, so he is planning another assault. We are stronger now, and we also have the help of the Shek Kingdom. So this time around, we should be able to pull this off. Also, we have one more new recruit over here. His name is Yasikan, aka Soviet Vombat on YouTube. Soviet Vombat is new to the channel, so welcome to the channel and welcome to the rebellion. I know your gear still looks a bit weird, but this was the only heavy gear we had in here in the base. I'm gonna give you something better as the time goes on, but right now, you have to be happy with this. Also, I haven't found a hammer for you right now, but I'm going to give you a hammer later on. But I'm pretty confident that you can also slay with these weapons. Now, fall back in line, my friend, and we are going down to Okren's Fist. But 
before we do that, we are going down here, Skim Sands, moving over through Oakland Shield. We're going to hire a group of the Shack Kingdom and then, then my friends, we're moving back up to Oakland's Fist. It is about time. Oh, and in case if you're wondering, I am also planning on taking out the cannibals. They also will be taken out at some point. I just need a little bit of time to get everything done. So let us now... Wait, let me make them group move, remove the hold and passive. Let me... Have I closed the gate? I've not closed the gate. Or the Shack Kingdom is trying to get in. Ooh, it seems like the Shack Kingdom are not allied with my other allies. Which means that I have to do another council to get that fixed. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal. They're bashing each other's head in. We gotta close the gate. And we gotta let the Shack Kingdom do the dirty work. Yeah, the Shack don't no care. Having the Shack allied now is uh, quite helpful, I gotta say. It seems like because I have two groups, they always split up. Oh, the Holy Nation. I really don't want to go through Bast. You know, Bast problems as always. Salt is encumbered. Okay, now Yasikan is the slowest. So I'm going to rally on Yasikan because I kind of hate it that they always split up the groups. Now everyone should follow him. Eh, Seto is also quite slow. Seto might even be slower. Yeah, I think Seto is slower. Okay, then let's follow Seto. And over the plains we go again. As per usual. I know going to Oakland's Fist would have been easier if we went from the top, but I really want to hire some Shack Warriors. There is a Trader's Guild here. Do I need any supplies? I do have enough food. We are also still rocking two Me Too weapons that I need to give to some people. You need 144 strength to wield that weapon. That only works with high strength and lifter arms. Yeah, okay. Right now we have enough food, that's why I'm going to spare them. I also have to admit, the combination of the gear Seto's wearing is looking pretty sick. So this is the scrap helmet here, then armored racks, samurai cloth pants, chainmail, and plated long boots. This combination looks pretty freaking sick. No, oh, no. These guys. Man, I don't know what their problem is. Do they really think... They can win this? Uh, literally suicide what they're doing. I mean, I don't mind taking out those races, but you, you know how it is, right? Uh, I don't think we have Shack patrolling the Skim Sands. Which means I still have to go through Oakland Shield. Which is now in the hands of the United Cities. Which is a thing I don't like. But the rule of the United Cities will soon be over too. That's just how it is, my friends. Oh, we got a mercenary guild here. Good old Mohi always likes to recruit some mercenaries. Wait, where is he? Can you recruit him or... Oh yeah, we can. Good. Follow us for... We have the money. Let's make it seven days, whatever. Also, uh, Mirko has mentioned that it would be cool if we can make an outpost. And I think I have a pretty cool idea for that. Because if we make a small outpost, we will get attacked very often. Although we have many allies, so they would also help us, so there is that, you know. But I also have a different idea of how we could make it. Oh, I just realized something. If we go through there and we get attacked, everyone just quickly run through. And get on hold over there. Seems like our mercenaries... Our mercenaries are instantly caught up in the battle here. Ah, they have many crossbow dudes over here. I don't want to get injured too heavy. Okay. These guys who can make it through will follow me. The other ones will stay back. It is just how it is. Until this guy realized what is going on, he's already dead. Seems like the doctor got doctored. Ah, ah, ah. And the samurai captain here is tanky. He's tanking many, many hits. That's actually not that bad because I wanted to get something for Yasikun. He wanted more heavy armor. Which I'm totally fine with. On to Seto we go. No one got left behind, right? Except for our mercenaries, but we don't talk about them. 
we do not talk about our mercenaries. Alright, just give me a fickety fick group of shack. Oh, we got some shack fighters here. Very good. I need some extra manpower. Can you help me? Oh no, I live to fight for my allies. Just show me who I need to fight. Good. Okay, how long are they gonna follow me? Bodyguard contract, but it doesn't say how long. Protecting sin. Oh, wait, wait. Three days. Okay, they're helping us for three days. There's another shack patrol there, but... As far as I'm aware, I can only have one group following you. Alright, then let's head over to Okran's Fist. This is going to be interesting now. Ah, oh, freaking hell. We're still getting chased by the United Cities, but I have an idea. If Sin attacks them, the Shack Kingdom should help. Yes, there we go. Oh, oops, I totally forgot. Yassi Khan has so much stuff on him. Let's get those dudes. Do it now. Okay, let me put this gear away. The healing. Alright, let's keep going, guys. Follow Yassi Khan this time around. Come on, Shack Kingdom, follow me. We got a fist to destroy. How do you always get stuck there, Kalru? What the fuck? Seems like I need to pick up Kalru too. Okran's fist here, I'm coming! Are you ready? Just wanna until Pecky gets stuck. We don't want this to happen. I hope you're ready, Shack Kingdom. How many hundred guardians do they have with them anyway? It doesn't seem like there are many hundred guardians in there. Many Shack fighters and retainers. I hope they have at least 200 guardians in there. I had a group once that had like four or five in them. I mean, the Shack are still going to help us out quite a bit. I might want to activate heal allies, so we actually are helping the Shack Kingdom when they get. I mean, last time we attacked them, I hope we did some damage. These freaking golden wolves. Didn't really want to fight those wolves, but I need to help our allies. Alright, let's go. Here we are, Okran's Fist. Let me get my camps down quickly. Sin, you stay here. I want Sin to be on the outside while the others bring them out so we can heal back up. I'm placing nine down here in the meantime. It should be fine. So Sin, you stay over here. Oh no, what are they doing? Oh, the mountain dogs again. Come on, fight me. Let's bring them over there. Putting all my animals down. They can join the fight. Insolence. What do you mean, insolence? How dare you? Man, that holy crossbow man just ran in alone. No fear, I guess. We gotta move in a bit closer. The Shack Kingdom are already fighting there. Not sure if these squads belong to Okran's Fist. But we came back stronger than ever, boys. You always have to keep in mind that those Shack are way tougher than just normal humans. These HP here, they make such a big difference. Okay, the Shack Kingdom are going in. I didn't want this to happen too early, but it's it's whatever now. Just gonna check around if anyone is injured, but so far so good, I'd say. Last time I was here, I literally stormed on the inside. And this was a bit of a bad idea, I guess. And this time around, with the help of the Shack Kingdom, things look pretty good. I'm also going to try to focus taking off the gear of the Paladins and High Paladins. Because even if they stand back up, they won't be that big of a threat anymore. Okay, our Shack Kingdom is fighting. We're going to help them out here. They must be cleansed! Don't cleanse me! Another one down. Good. Take off their healing and some of the gear. So, they got a few people on the... Oh god, they got so many people on the crossbows here. Alright, I'm gonna send in a group of our martial artists. Why a group of them? Because they're more efficient. Seeing this? <laughs> That's how we roll, boys. Look at this, they're kicking him down. We have three here, but I wanna get another one in. Cronin is also a martial artist. Come in here, Cronin. They're not even wearing optimal gear. That's the funny part. Look at they're falling down. Okay, we're still pretty deep on the inside. Oh, Kalru, let's go. But this time around, with the shack on our side, I feel confident that we can pull this off. But I might wanna... I mean, we got most of their defense here. 
Oh, 100 Guardian here. Look at this 100 Guardian. 91 toughness. I mean, the Shack Kingdom is currently fighting on the inside and... Oh, Fur is injured. Gale is out. No, no, you, you, you leave Gale alone, you piece of crap. I think for the future I'm gonna set them right next to each other. So it's easier for me to get him. Did he just drop Gale on the floor? I think he just dropped Gale on the floor, just like that. How dare you? Well, that means we can go out again. This is not looking all too good. I see many red numbers. Put you guys on hold. Move back. I repeat, move back. You're moving back to the camps. Everyone run as fast as you can. This time I'm not going to do some stupid shenanigans. Okay, Mohi is out. Abrarius, you're gonna pick up Mohi. Take him on the outside. I'm gonna play the smart this time around. Handy is also out. Same goes for Chrome. Less, you're gonna pick up Handy. Windex, you're gonna pick up Chrome. Then I'll see you on the outside. So Joseph Sun is out. Yasikan, you're too slow. But Beetle, you are not. Okay, who else? Tron is out, but Tron is not the big of a problem. Corpse is also out. Move back, guys. Move back. Kaltasa Relic third. He's not out, but heavy injured. Wait, third? Okay, third is also muscle artist. I kind of forgot that. Nibble. Go over here. Pick him up. Cronin. You guys come over here. Tron is not that big of a problem. The third is out now. Sound is also out. Gale is also back up. Gale, you pick up Nibble. Move it over here. Cyber Beep. Pick up Relic. Come over here. Gale, you pick up Chrome. The Shaking them is still fighting. Very good. So, can we move back a bit? Uh, Seep got knocked out. Seto, can you pick him up? I'm gonna remove the hold for a second. But I always try to storm in that quickly if I remove the hold. Which is not that good. I wanna fight over here. If possible. So I'm going in, I'm gonna pick up Tron now. Wait, Cyberbeep does not have a repair kit? What is this? Let me change that. Gonna remove the hold now. There's a Paladin Elite here, which we're going to de-gear, as I wanna call it. So whenever we hit him, he takes quite a bit of damage. Move them down. Remove their precious gear. I mean, we're doing better than last time, that's for sure. That is for sure. A freaking hell, you can't even lie down in bed and then try to kill you already. What, Windex got captured? How did this happen? How in the world did this happen? Alright, we gotta remove the heal allies now. I think this is a bit chaotic because we always try to heal the shack and then we run in. It's not good. Man, how many soldiers do they have? That is crazy. It's like you defeat one and suddenly a second one is there. Mm, I think we're slowly decimating them. But it's still taking a lot of time. Confident that at a certain point we can pull this off. It's just going to take a long time. It's always a question of how long we can hold out. So I still want to get Windex out of there. No idea how I did this. No idea how they captured him, but I guess it is what it is. I'm gonna put this gear in here. So I'm better with the sneaks. Uh, some sh I guess there are still some Shek who are fighting. Yeah. I regarded him here. But why are there food cubes lying around? Didn't I give this to these guys? Done a mistake? Seems like I've done a mistake. Okay. Man, these paladin elites. They are quite tough. 
Uh, I need a saber for him now. But this guy has a saber. Take his chain shirt. Some of us still need better gear too. I mean, overall, I say things are not looking too bad. We didn't really take that much damage. Alright, we're going back in now. Those crossbows are so annoying. They're a huge deal. Putting myself on hold over here. And I wanna try something now. I wanna get the martial arts squad back together. And then I wanna run in there. And beat up the crossbow guys. Or the crossbow guys just shoot their friends. Okay, now that there are too many coming in right now. Yeah, that's ah, oh, that's such a problem. We could try to fight somewhere else. Like, where does the crossbows not reach? When we fight over there, they won't reach us over here. I mean, we could also try to fight inside of the building, but we had... We tried to do this once, but this wasn't really working out all too good. I mean, I tried to fight it in the building once, but this didn't work out too good. But you know what? Let's try it again. The fuck? Okay, seems like these guys got shot again. No, 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 what are you doing, guys? Come back. Hold over here. Okay. You know what? Whatever. We're trying this again. Everyone inside this building. They can't shoot us with their crossbows if you're inside of the building, right? So we're trying this again. Oh no, there's an Inquisitor here. Oh, that dude is strong. But it's some nice training for us. Like this Inquisitor gives us quite a lot of XP. Oh, look at this, our pack animals are fighting on the outside. They're literally destroying them. Good job, guys. The fuck? How did we get shot here? How did they shoot us on the inside? Let's go, my pack animals. Good job. Kalaru, let's go. My Kalaru's damage is so high. Pff, oh, God. What the fuck? Kalaru single-handedly destroying him. The two naked inquisitors on the inside. Kalaru, no! They dare to knock out my doggo. Putting them on hold is a bit of a problem. Or can be a bit of a problem. But... I'd say overall we're not doing too bad. I mean, I feel, I feel pretty confident in here. Not getting completely destroyed by the crossbows somehow works wonders. The fuck? Why am I getting shot? They nearly killed Gale. Through the freaking building. What the hell? Come over here, guys. I need some cleansing in here. Yes. Good job. Come on, get him. Dream team. Kali's not using martial art, but that's fine. Yes. Well, this guy's up again. Not for much longer. Okay, I cleaned the... Crossbows. Oh, never mind. They're coming back in here again. Yes. Get him, guys. Holy shit, what's with this guy? He was tanking so many hits. Yes! Get him! I want to see those limbs flying away. I might need to go back. Run, guys! Run! Oh, how are we looking in here? Oh my, oh my. Uh, just imagine you come in here and you get instantly slaughtered. I still can't believe you're fighting here. Yeah, cut off their legs. Once their legs are gone, they can't really do much about it. I mean, I know the same goes for the arms, but still. 
Kalru, help us. Holy shit, this is a massacre. Uh, how many do they have left in here? Like, what is going on? There's still so many soldiers in here. Oh, another Inquisitor. It's going to be a tough one again. Every battle makes us stronger. Man, these Inquisitors give so nice XP. It's a bit of a shame that we have to put out the gear so they are weaker. If we don't do that, they are in fact too strong. Alright. Everyone on the inside. Why can they always get shot there? Wait, you don't have a repair kit? What is this? Out of trading range, you gotta be kidding. The amount of XP I gain through these battles is insane, you know that? By the way, Muti and Joseph are making it to Black Scratch in the meantime. They're kind of halfway there, I forgot to mention that. Look at all these paladins. When will this end? They have a leader over there. Which is unusual because normally this place doesn't have a leader, but... In this mod it does. But man, I'm honest, we've been decimating them quite a bit. Every time we knock them down, they're getting closer to dying. Which in return means... We're decimating their numbers. God, look at the damage. Uh, we should probably bring back here on the back side too. Because otherwise they won't really get shot a lot. Technically, I can also put everyone on the back side here. We don't need to be in the building because they cannot shoot behind there. I just realized that. <laughs> Look at this. It is totally carnage in here. I can't believe they still got things up there. I guess that's just how it is. I mean, technically, I could also use the crossbows, right? But I'm not sure if I'll be able to hit anything. This worth hitting, so to speak. Huh, if we storm this Inquisition now, we'll be able to take the guy. I guess there's only one way of finding out. Uh, what do we have in here? Inquisitor. High Inquisitor. I guess I should be able to pull this off. We just need to get the High Inquisitor. Uh, one Inquisitor already down. Let me take off his gear. We could bring him to the skeletons. I'm not sure what's going to happen when we bring him to the skeletons. And down he goes. Cyber peep, you pick him up. He doesn't even have, use a B2 weapon. What is this? Okay. We got the High Inquisitor. We're moving out now. So I gotta... see. Corpses. No, Corpse is fine. Yasukan is fine too. Bokber is knocked out. Beetle is also knocked out, but Sling Slag is not looking too good. Ultra Biscuit, you pick up him. This is a job for Argos. Fur is also stumbling around. Gotta put everyone on hold now. Mac, you gotta pick up Gale. And Anvil is picking up Kane. Celia is picking up Tron. Fuck is Slink doing over there? Slink goes blink your injuries. Gonna drop down Els here. Pick up Els. Ultra Biscuit. You're going to pick up Yasikan. Let's go. Nice! We did it, guys! We did it! This time we were successful! We got Okren's fists. This time we were successful. 
I'll be honest, this battle would have taken forever. Because they have so many high-level soldiers in there. But we gained a lot of experience in this battle. A lot of experience for everyone, which is really nice. I have the feeling that the Holy Nation is stronger in here than the United Cities. Because the gear they're wearing and the weapons, they're pretty strong. But anyways, guys, then I say thank you for watching. And I do hope I see you in the next one. Goodbye.